So the resource trial was looking at patients who have either progressive disease on sorafenib or intolerance to sorafenib with unresectable metastatic hepatocellular carcinoma. Those patients who received regorafenib in the second line setting had a longer survival, overall survival as well as progression-free survival. Therefore, it's likely that regorafenib will become FDA approved for the treatment of patients who have had progressive disease on sorafenib and have unresectable hepatocellular carcinoma.